With the changes we made in the last lecture, it's inevitably going to cause some issues with our application. So there's going to be a few things that we have to update within our app. And so let's just quickly run through a couple of our requests just to see what they look like, see what changes we need to make. And so if you haven't already done so, I'll log in a user. And so once we're logged in, we should update the variable. And now we can retrieve our posts. So if I hit send here, you could say that we retrieve all of the posts in our application. I just have one in this case. But the first issue that I see is that we're not returning the owner ID, right? This is a brand new column. And I would expect this information to get sent out to the user. And the reason why it's not included in here is that uh, we have to actually update our schema because our schema probably doesn't have that owner ID because we never added that in. And you might be thinking, well, do we actually need to send it? Yeah, I think it makes sense for us to send it because in any application, the user should know who creates a post. So ultimately they're gonna have to uh, get that information. And so we should provide the owner ID. So let's go to our code. And if you actually go to the posts uh, router and take a look at the uh, get all posts, you'll see that the response model is going to reference schemas.post. So let's go to schemas.post. And you can see that this is what we're using to return. Um, this is the schema that we're going to use for returning posts to a user. And so this actually inherits from Postbase. So Postbase has title, content, published, and then we extend that and we're going to add the ID, which gets created at the database level, as well as the date and time or the created at field, which gets added by the database. So we can add it here. However, I'm sure you're thinking, well, could we add it at post base? Should we add it post create? Well, let's think about this. Right, the, the first thing that we have to think about is when we create a post, should we be passing in a owner ID? Well, that we 100% absolutely could do that. Uh, and that actually does kind of make sense. So in that case, if we did want it to be available uh, or require it for creating a post, then we would add it under post create here as well. Or we could just add it under post base so that both of them inherit it. However, what we're going to do is we're actually not going to require the user to provide the owner ID. Uh, instead, what we're actually going to do is we're going to let the, the logic of our route to actually just grab the ID from the token and then use that as the field. So we don't actually need the user to pass that into the body. So we're not going to, we're not going to use that field or apply that field to either one of these classes. We're just going to do it for the post class, which is the one that's responsible for sending the post out. So I'll add a column here and we'll call it owner ID. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a type of int. All right, let's save that. And let's see if that makes a difference. So let's hit send. And so now we can see that we get the owner ID and that's really all the changes we have to make. So if we actually go to get one post and we look at our code here, and if you look at the post.py for getting an individual post, you can see that we're returning the same exact model. And if we take a look at uh, creating a post, we return the same model. So all of those will be updated accordingly. And same thing with the update post, the update post also uses schemas.post. So since we're using the same schema for all of them, we don't have to do anything else. And we could just quickly test that out. So I'll do get one post. And I realized we have to actually get what was the ID? ID is four. So we're going to update this to be an ID of four. You can see that we now have the owner ID there. If we update it, right, we can once again get the owner ID. And at that point, it looks like everything else is good. However, if we go to create posts real quick and we create a post, Right, we get a crash actually. So there is an issue with creating a post and I'm sure you guys can guess exactly what it is. Take a look at the error when we try to create a post. Right, it's saying uh, there's some kind of SQL error and it says there's a null value in column owner ID. And that makes sense. And that makes sense. So we'll actually tackle this in the next video and you'll see that it's gonna be pretty straightforward to actually get that resolved.